This is the Conspiracy Palette Part 2. I'm pretty excited. I'm slightly less excited than I was three hours ago when I was supposed to start recording, but it is what it is. <laughs> if you haven't seen Part 1, then go back and watch that if you want to. But this one is color, color, color. Look at number one, here we come. Yeah, as much as I would like to start with Trisha, I think I'm gonna do something with some of the colors I haven't used before. So like, what's the tea? And mm, yeah, I'm thinking kind of a fairy-esque winter inspired kind of look. There's not that many that I haven't used actually, to be fair. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna do something with what's the tea. What's the tea? I'm gonna wing it as usual, <laughs> and see what we end up with. But yeah, I'm thinking kind of winter, fairy, snow fairy kind of thing, sugar plum fairy, I don't know. For this one, I'm just gonna do one eye, do the other one off camera, and hopefully speed things up a little bit for you. I'm gonna start with my pills and put that all over the lid. Mm -hmm. I should zoom in, actually. And I have used the shade already, so. We've seen it in more than one look so far, actually. I'm gonna take What's the Tea? So I haven't tried this shade before, but it's very pretty. So that's What's the Tea? Taking quite a fluffy brush as well. Let's see what happens. Mmm. I'm going in quite lightly again because I do have my face makeup on. So we don't want too much fallout, but we shall see. I'm gonna try and take this look so it's almost like a cat eye. Taking it up rather than the temptation to go down. I do like my pills and, and what's the tea together though, they're really pretty. I'm gonna go back in with my pills just to put some more on the top of the inner corner. They're just so really, I don't know, they just look lovely together. Got my setting spray, spraying the brush. And now I'm going back in with what's the tea. So now I'm going to take some concealer and put that on the middle. So with that concealer on the lid, I'm now going to take, what am I going to take? <laughs> I'm going to take Conspiracy with a little bit of What's the Tea blended in as well. So right now the lines are very separated, so looking a bit like ice cream, <laughs> but I will blend it. And now I'm going to spray another brush and my setting spray is running out. So I'm going to take Diet Cola, put that on the inner eye. Ooh, she packs a punch. And then taking this quite far in and up. Because we do want it to be a bit more dramatic. I do really like this shade. I'm just gonna take it all the way actually. And I feel like What's the Tea is one of those shades that like you'll apply it and then once you start blending it kind of disappears. Um, maybe it's, I don't know, I think it's just one of those you need a bit of patience for, but yeah, it's not as, I don't know. 
just very soft and I don't know. I feel like it's just blending away a little bit. So it's not as, it's not staying as much as I would like it to. I'm just gonna take ranch because this is also very beautiful and put that on the inner corner alongside, alongside Diet Cola. I haven't sprayed this either. I'm just kind of seeing what happens without spray. You can see a little bit of ranch on my nose, but we will clean that up. I feel like we're going from Sugar Plum Fairy to Ice Queen right now. <laughs> Now I'm gonna take a teeny tiny bit of Illuminati, which is that lovely dark green that I used for the Christmas look, and put that on the lower lash line, um, and I'll put a little bit of What's the Tea on as well. So, what else can we do? I do love how sparkly it is, but I feel like it's still on my nose quite a bit. Yeah, I don't really know where else to take this at the minute, so I'm gonna do the other eye and then we'll see how we're feeling. Okay, so this is where we're at. Both eyes are done. And yeah, I kinda like it. I like the shape, but I feel like I just need to clean it up a little bit. And yes, it is a bit dramatic, but that is what we're going for. I'm just gonna blend out the line a little bit of what's the tea. I almost feel like something's missing. Um, I'd be tempted to do black eyeliner, but at the same time, I don't know if that would take away from the kind of look I'm going for. Not that I'm trying to look exactly like the Sugar Plum Fairy, but I just don't know if black liner would kind of change it a bit too much. Mm. Now I'm gonna add some lashes and do a final look if I'm happy with it because I'm not convinced I am yet. <laughs> so this is the finished look and we are playing that wonderful game of how well can Adele apply her lashes. And this one's not too bad, this one nightmare but I, I just couldn't wrestle with it anymore so uh, these lashes are another eyelore set fluttery light it's that box. They're quite big for me like usually as I say I do the Number sevens or 101, I think, is another Ilo one that's probably my go to. So these are fairly dramatic, but that's what this video is all about. So, yeah, overall, I really like it. As I said, What's the Tea was a bit of a strange shade to use. It's, it's the one that's impressed me the least so far, but it may just be my technique. I don't know. It just felt like it was not really staying. I'd when I was blending it, it would just kind of disappear. So it does require building it up a little bit, but it's still a beautiful color, you can't deny. And I really like how it turned out. So I'll zoom in and everything. So what do you think of this first look? And uh, let's get ready for the next one. I think we are gonna go red, orange, yellows, complete opposite to this one. If this is like ice and water, then that's gonna be flames. <laughs> Sorry, that was aggressive. This one's gonna be fire, fire. What does Joey do on Friends? Fire. <laughs> Just if if you wanna click off this video after, after that, I completely understand. Next look. And this one is gonna be the fiery reds, orange, and probably food videos because I don't know when else to use that shade. So yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going right in. Am I? I think I'm gonna do kind of a similar look to the last one, but obviously just with the different colors. So making it a bit more dramatic and using a bit of concealer. I'm probably gonna use concealer more than spraying it because my setting spray is dangerously low. <laughs> like, this is, that's all she, that's all she wrote. I'm gonna go right in with Flaming Heart into 
the crease and probably all over the eye, let's be honest. So, mm -hmm. really interesting color because it's so it looks so red in the pan but it's actually coming across more I don't know magenta rather than going all the way in I'm just gonna focus on the two-thirds of my eye I guess okay I'm gonna pack it on a little bit more now Oh yeah, there's that fire. I'm gonna take a little bit of my rides here. And blend that with more flaming Hot. Take some concealer now. Make it to about there, yeah. And now we are gonna take cheese dust. Very excited about this one as well. Even though I'm just not very good with colors. This just looks crazy. Wow. That's so cool. See, I'd probably call it what's it dust. <laughs> I love what's it. But it's interesting. I take it up there as well a little bit. Blend it in. I've seen a lot of people use um, cheese dust on their lower la lower lash line. It looks really cool. And it does actually go with a lot of colours that you wouldn't expect it to. I just wiped my eye a little bit with a makeup wipe. So it's not too crazy. So obviously my concealer and stuff has come off a little bit, but I'll I will fix that afterwards, just in case. Okay, so I've just sprayed a brush. I'm gonna try this one. I don't know, don't know how well it will work, but yeah, so we're gonna go in with food videos. I'm a little bit scared of this color, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's so bright and not something I would ever use. Almost looks green in the camera. Might as well put a bit of concealer on before. So. Okay, let's do this. Ooh. I don't think my brush is very wet. <laughs> I'm trying to salvage as much of the spray as I can, so. I think I'm being a little bit stingy on my brush. Okay. Let's try again. I can see what people are saying about the fallout. <laughs> Strange one, this one, yeah. I agree. It is very like you can see the fallout of that. 
Um, and I'm spraying my bush. Let's try a different one. I don't know. Same kind of thing. Like that brushed away fine, but I guess that's part of the problem for people. I haven't watched many, many reviews, but I did see that some people were saying food videos doesn't really do much. And for the look I'm going for, because I want it to be blended into cheese dust, but I can see what people are saying about that color. It's a little underwhelming, I guess. And I don't, I don't even mean the color payoff because I don't think you could get it that bright on the eye unless you're really pale, I'm guessing. What bothers me about this one is just, I'm wetting my brush and I feel like it's wet enough, but it, it's still quite powdery. I don't know. And that's quite a bit of fallout. Yeah, mixed feelings, mixed feelings about food videos. Okie dokie. <laughs> so, I'm back with a vengeance. No, just kidding. I'm back, got lashes on. These feel very heavy. These are slightly different to the other lashes that I've worn. I have trimmed them as well because they were just like weighing me down. Uh, these lashes are, these are the Ardell Professional Faux Mink, because we wouldn't want real. I've got, that's kind of what they look like in the box as well. So really big for me. I know some people, some people kind of wear these all the time, but I trim them a little bit and I'm liking them. Now this is the finished look. So yellow, orange, and red combined. Not something I would usually do, but yeah, I really, really like how it turned out. To so say food videos for me, it looks really nice with this look, but it, I see what people are saying about it not really paying off how they would like. Pretty much agree with that. So take from that what you will. <laughs> it's a bit of a strange color, but still usable because it still looks good, but not as bright um, and seemingly not as easy to apply. But that is, that's the uh, second look that I'm going for. I think I am just gonna do one more, which is gonna be with Trisha because that's the color I've been most excited about since I saw this palette being made. So yeah, I'll probably finish with a purpley, pinky, beautiful look and I'm so excited. <laughs> I could actually see myself wearing this look again for sure. And for someone who doesn't really experiment with color, pleasantly surprised, gotta say. So we've had like the icy cool look. Now this is the hot, flamey, lashes on on properly kind of look. <laughs> so we'll, I think I'll just do one more which is the pink look. Final countdown. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. <laughs> we are at the final look for this video and for part one and two overall and it is the one that I have been waiting for personally. Ooh, I'm so excited. This is going to be testing Trisha. I would be very sad if in all this I didn't like Trisha but we will see. Let's get going with Trish. Okay I'm gonna start with my pills. Um, this brush is just stained a little bit from using Flaming Hot but it, it is clean. And then with the same brush, I'm going to use Pigment, which is one of my favorites. And again, I'm going to mainly start here, but all over the lid. We are going full pink today. <laughs> 